Okay, let's talk a little bit about memes. So um, it's a little confusing because I think it's it's memes are different than they than they originally were used to be, or um, they've kind of evolved a little bit. So basically, a meme means something that is copied or imitated, or um, it, it basically kind of goes viral because so many people are sharing it or imitating it. Um, They've been around forever. I know some of you that are a little bit older might remember the commercials with the dancing baby. Well, the dancing baby started off as one thing. It was kind of a, um, oh gosh, like a computerized baby dancing. And then it turned into, uh, you know, someone else was using it for a different purpose. And then it was all over the internet. And it kind of get, keeps getting copied and replicated, but people are adding their own spin to it and making it kind of an urban legend, I guess, sort of thing. So a couple of good examples are like the grumpy cat. So Grumpy Cat is a real live cat who's not grumpy, but he just has like a facial um, uh, situation going on. I think something with his jaw that makes him look grumpy, but people use him and um, basically use his pictures and add whatever they want to to his picture to make their own meme and they're going viral. Um, Pouty Kid, this guy, I think we've all seen him and people are just kind of putting whatever verbiage they want to on his picture. Um, so I was going to talk to you today about making your own. So obviously, as far as curated content, which means it's not our own content, you can come and grab some of these types of images off of Google is where I normally find them. I get a little hesitant just because of the copyright infringement, and that might be the teacher in me, but um, I'm a little hesitant to share some things. So a lot of times I'll come on try to find a quote and then I try to make my own version of it if, if possible. So I'm going to show you, and that's also kind of a nice way to customize something for yourself too. Um, so one thing you can do is go to Google. I usually just search, um, you know, whatever kind of quote I'm looking for. So happy quote, um, you can do Monday quotes. Um, if it's something specific to your um your industry or the type of people that you're trying to reach. So let's say that my target audience is, you know, young mothers. So I could search, um, you know, quotes about, let's say like young mom quotes, um, all sorts of different things that you can kind of search for. Um, what you'll do is you'll actually go to the images and that way you can kind of explore what other people have done. See if there's anything that jumps out at you. Obviously a lot of these are very, very wordy. We don't want to go this heavy on the verbiage. So you might have to do a little bit of digging. You might have to change what you're searching for. But for the purpose of today, I'm going to go ahead and just stick with a happy one rather than a funny one. Actually, I'm going to actually change that back to Monday. Let's do Monday quotes because they can be kind of... Um, kind of funny. So we'll try a Monday quote. Go to images. And um, this is always one of my favorite. Um, it's Monday. Don't forget to be awesome. I love that quote. Um, so Monday, that one's kind of cute. Monday should be optional. That's a cute one. This would be a really easy one for us to do. So you always want to watch and see if the quote actually belongs to someone. Like this is just Obviously, this is not a, a quote that someone actually wrote. This one here, um, well, same thing. Uh, but you want to make sure that it's not something that, you know, Albert Einstein or someone else wrote. If they did, you can absolutely use it, but you just need to make sure that you're giving credit for who actually said that quote. So this one's fine for us to copy. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go into Canva, and I'm going to choose just a simple Facebook post. Actually, let's start with the... Um, We'll start with the Facebook post. We're going to start with not having to create our own content, but more editing their content. So we're going to look through their layouts that they provide us and see if there's anything in here that could possibly work that we could kind of tweak on our own. So um, let's see. This one right here looks pretty good. This is a girl just kind of crashing out, sleeping on the couch. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take this hashtag no filter and we're going to erase that. We are going to make this say, now Mondays should be optional. Obviously, this is not fitting exactly correctly, so there are a couple of different things that we can do. We can change our spacing. There is a letter spacing, which will allow our letters to be kind of squished in a little bit closer, or our line height that's the gap here in the middle. This is usually where I go to adjust um, just because we do kind of have a lot of room. 
So I can make that a little bit smaller there. And you could also even change your font style. You can literally pick from hundreds and hundreds of fonts that fit your style a little bit better. You can also play around with the size and make the size a little bit smaller. You can change the color of your font to see if that looks a little bit better. If you do something that just does not work, you always have the option to just hit undo. Um, when I taught, that was always what I called my best friend, the undo arrow. He kind of fixes everything for me. So um, I am going to now redo, whoops, maybe. There we go. Um, and get me back to this spot. I will change my spacing down so that it fits a little bit better. And now right here where they've got facebook.com slash lazy days, I'm going to actually change this to be my website just so that it's kind of a way for me to do a little bit of branding without being completely obnoxious. And now I simply download, um, save this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it as a ping file. That works just fine for me. I hit download and then it is ready for me to upload it just like any other image. So this is going to turn itself into uh, basically an image for me. I'll choose where I decide to put it and then we can upload it to Facebook. Actually, I went to my downloads file, so that's perfect. We will just come in here. I'm going to say that I'm going to share a photo or a video, upload photos, video, go to my downloads folder, and it will be in here somewhere. It's called Monday, so it will look alphabetically. And I should probably clean this up in here. Okay, now I can say something about it, like Happy Monday, everyone, go out and get it, or something like that. That's all that you have to do. So I'm going to erase this one and show you how to build it from scratch now. So I've got this post that I just created with Monday, should be optional. I'm gonna X out of it, come back into Canva, choose a blank Facebook post. And in this case now, I'm gonna completely build it. So I may go into images, um, let me think of some different things that might be, um, might kind of go along with that. And you can get, like I said, some inspiration from what other people have done. So like a grumpy dog, a lazy cat. I am going to go into here and search for lazy and see if I find any photos that are either free or, um, or cost a dollar that would work for me. So when you've searched for what you're looking for, this drop down arrow will allow you to toggle free only, or you can select most relevant, which means it'll give you free and charged um, content. There are plenty of free options for me. So any one of these would work. Um, I, once I have the picture that I want, doesn't exactly fit right, so I'm just going to take the corners, pull it a little bit bigger, move it into place. It still needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, now I've got my image. Now I'm going to come into my text. I can add a heading because I want this to be pretty um, large. They also give you all of these great layouts here. So if I wanted to, I could pick one that's already done and then just um, kind of tweak it a little bit. So I could take, for instance, this happy birthday and instead change this to say Mondays. Should be optional. So that's one option. If I don't like that, I'm just going to undo it, undo again, completely get rid of it. And then I'm going to come up to the top and I'm gonna actually just kind of create my own heading. So I'm gonna go into add heading. I kind of like the idea of doing two different fonts. So I'm gonna stick with that plan. I'm gonna make Mondays be one font. So let's try this brusher. I come in here and backspace away, type Mondays. I want to make it much larger. I'm going to drag it up here to the corner. And now I'm going to add another heading. And this one, I think I actually kind of like this font style. So we'll leave it like this. And I'm going to say should be optional. Dot, dot, dot. 
that is it. Now at this point, if I want to do some branding, I can go into my uploads. I can either do like I did on the last post and just use my text here and type in my um, website address or my hashtag or something like that. Or I can come into my logos and I can find either my favicon or my full logo and just put really small. It does not need to be obnoxious at all because we, again, we don't want to be about me, 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 me. But it's just kind of nice to have that little reminder. And now I can download this. And again, same way, I just come in, put it, put it in as a photo and add my own text to it. So that's the way that you can kind of create your own. Honestly, um, this is a great place to get um, some inspiration in Google, whether it be inspirational quotes. So if you're dealing with, um, if your primary market is going to be business people, then you could do business quotes inspirational. Um, just kind of think in terms of what you believe your clientele would like to see and read and um, what would benefit them. And you're going to be watching and kind of tracking your data anyway to see what's really speaking to them. So you'll find over time that, oh, wow, you know what? Inspirational quotes go, do really, really well with my group. Or no, it's actually funny quotes that work a lot better. Um, so you'll kind of find your niche, but this is a great place for you to find some inspiration, especially if you're working on your theme. So let's say, for instance, you know, back in one of our previous lessons, we talked about using um, curated links to support your theme, and one of the examples was golf. So I created that great golf animaker to promote a golf event that one of my clients was having. And then we used some curated links to Golf Digest and tips for golfers. I could actually come in here and find um, golf quotes. And now I could make something that um, either take one of these or like I said, I'd probably rather make my own. Um, so I will just take one of the quotes that I see in here and use Canva to, uh, to make it my own. Um, you'll see these actually do have a name attached to them. So these were um, spoken by a real live person. So we wanna make sure that we give them credit for that. So that's what I was referring to earlier. Okay, that's basically um, essentially how you can kind of create your own meme. Um, again, they're not, you know, a, a, the true definition of a meme is something that goes viral. Of course, we're hoping that these go viral and they get shared, but, um, but we never know. Uh, but at least this is kind of gives you an idea of how you can create your own and, and hopefully get it to, uh, to be shared amongst a lot of people and get your following to really enjoy reading some of the things that you're putting out there.